Welcome to Fat by Default. We are here helping you win the battle against obesity. My name is Guy Severson and this is Dr. Mark Mead. Today we'll be looking at some of the questions you have so that we can help you succeed in winning your battle against fat. So question here today is about emotions. How are they related to weight gain or obesity in, that, that people experience? Well, Guy, emotions are pre-programmed. They are things that we learn from our past or from <coughs> us growing up. Okay, we're going to stop that and we go. Sorry. That's all right. Welcome to Fat by Default. My name is Guy Severson and this is Dr. Mark Mead. We are bringing to you the ability for you to tap into these videos and learn the secrets of how to win war, your, your war against obesity or helping the loved ones that you uh, are around win their war. Today we're going to be talking about emotions and how emotions affect fat. So how do they affect fat, Mark, Dr. Mark? Well, as you know, emotions are pre-programmed. Um, as we're growing up, you know, we might get, uh, fall down and, and bruise our knee, and our mother or our father will come along and say, oh, I'm sorry, honey, this is something that will help you. And they hand you uh, a cookie or a cake. And it's really just to take your mind off of, of that present injury. However, it programs in those things that we call comfort foods, mm. okay? And when we f are feeling bad, we might need a comfort food. The other thing is, is that when we are um, uh, happy and we are uh, celebrating, you know, we often have decadent foods that, that go along with that. And so we might try to recreate that in our diet to make us happy. And so many of these emotions can, uh, or, you know, they can be self-esteem issues. They can be happy or sad. They can be excited and joyful. Um, you know, who, who doesn't like to, to have a good time? And so these foods all play a part of that. Well, if you have too many of those, then we c they start adding to your waistline. And so we need to be, to be aware of our emotions and how to correct them when they come and how to m say no if they are affecting us adversely. So I, you know, I, I can think of times where I too have used food in a emotional event like that. What could I use instead? Well, instead of, of overindulging, maybe simply having a, a smaller portion of that decadent food, that food that is, that is a high calorie and low nutrition, you might have less of that. Okay, or, you know, unless it's an absolute requirement, you may not have it at all. Interesting, interesting. Okay, yeah. What about, you know, going out and, you know, just buying something for myself as a way of celebrating the victory or the occasion instead of having food at all? Well, and, and that may be a better option than, than uh, eating, say, a, a, um, a high calorie food going out and buying yourself a new a suit jacket or a new dress or, a, or shoes or something like that. However, we don't want to replace one bad habit with another in that, you know, if it's appropriate, we will, those things could be substituted in. But, you know, we might want, want to celebrate in another way where we are increasing our activity levels or, or what have you as opposed to um, spending or eating or, or what have you. So. Um, certainly going out and celebrating in another way, something that's appropriate for you, may be the way to do that. Interesting. Very good. Very good. This is Fat by Default. And we've heard today from Dr. Mark Mead. And this YouTube channel, as you can see by the other videos that are in here, is all about helping you with your battle 
against fat. If you subscribe to the channel, you'll receive our latest, greatest information. Also, find out about teleseminars and webinars where you can speak with Dr. Mark Me directly or hear from him or whatnot by viewing the descriptions on the right or down below. And we'll have the latest, greatest information there for you. Look forward to seeing you next time on Fat by Default.